All right, guys, breaking news here on Chicago Bears now. Jalen Johnson has signed a massive four-year contract extension. We're going to tell you all about it over the next several minutes here on the show. My name is Harrison Graham. Wherever you are, hope you're having a good day. Hopefully you're having a better couple of days than I am because uh, there's a reason I'm at home. I have been sick in bed for the past two days uh, to be frank, if this news dropped yesterday, someone else would probably be having to film this video, but feel just good enough to get this one out for you guys. This is why we're not having a live show today, because I am sick as a dog. You guys don't want to hear the details, but this is why I subscribe and grinding for you guys. I'm sweating my balls off because uh been a tough couple of days, but uh, this news makes my last 48 hours or so a little bit better. So if you want uh, daily videos here on the uh, Chicago Bears, we got you covered. Hit that subscribe button. Jalen Johnson, four-year, $76 million contract extension to stay in Chicago. This comes just two days after the Bears played the franchise tag on him, and that's pretty rare. Just right off the bat, that's my instant reaction. Not that guys don't get extended before the July deadline after they get franchise tag, but two days later, that's pretty rare. Now, Jonathan Jones, want to give him credit, CBS Sports, he did report when they tagged him that getting a deal done before free agency was still possible. Want to give Ryan Poles credit, he said last week, all the talks were positive. So it sounded like they just needed a little bit more time uh, to last beyond Tuesday's deadline. And that Turns out to be the case because two days later, they, here we are with a long-term extension. Now, some other details on this deal. Four-year 76, so $19 million per year, which is less than the franchise tag number of 19.8, mind you. So that's, that's pretty well done by the Bears. But they've kind of compromised uh, in the way they structured this uh, to help Jalen out. So he gets $60 million. Uh, in the first three years of this deal, that is second to only Jair Alexander in, on a new contract, $60 million over a three-year period. So he gets that. Uh, he also gets the most uh, guaranteed at signing for any corner ever, which I believe is $43.8 million or whatever. Full guarantees up to $54.4 million. So I think the Bears helped Jalen reach some certain benchmarks to give him the respect he deserves among his peers at that position, but they also did a good job of saying, "Hey, we're not gonna we're not gonna reset the market with you. There are minor injury concerns." So this is what I was talking about the other day. There's got to be a middle ground here. I'll be honest, that middle ground I think uh, teetered a little bit closer to the Bears than I thought. I thought he'd come in at twenty, maybe twenty point five million per year to get him at nineteen, especially less than that franchise tag number. Is fantastic work by Ryan Poles and his team. But if you're Jalen Johnson, look, is a million bucks per year going to uh, gonna have you uh, not sign a deal and get that long-term security, especially if there's a lot of guaranteed dollars in that contract? No. And that's ultimately why uh, he's agreed to terms here. And now uh, you shift your focus toward free agency, which we're going to talk about that as this video uh, goes along as well. But grade this deal, A, B, C, D, or F, grade this contract for Jalen Johnson, four years and $76 million. Drop a letter grade down in the comments below. I got to give it an A, man. I think the Bears did really well here. To get him at under $20 million per year, I think is fantastic. Now, I'm trying to see if there's updates as we film here in terms of what his year one cap hit will be. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. I'm not seeing that just yet. I would guess it's less than that $19.8 million uh, dollar salary or a franchise tag number, which is huge too. That could save some money uh, for free agency here. So we'll see. Uh, good note for Courtney uh, from Courtney Cronin here. She says $54 million guaranteed is the biggest sticking point here. $19 million per year for Jalen Johnson, who is getting most of his money up front on the four-year $72 million contract he agreed to with the Bears. And the way this is structured too is – you could see after year three, either another extension or maybe, you know, the Bears moving on at that point. Like, it's very much a three plus one, uh, at least the way the structure of this sounds. So uh, you certainly like that. But think about this, guys. Jalen Johnson, in terms of money per year, seventh highest paid corner. This was the best corner in football this year. 
And the Bears got him at the seventh highest paid in terms of millions per year. Jair Alexander, 21 million. Denzel Ward, 20 million. Legereus Sneed, 19.8 on the franchise tag. We'll see where he comes in. So technically that could change. Uh, but the rest of these guys, Marshawn Lattimore, 19.52. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, 19.5. Trayvon Diggs, 19.4. Then Jalen Johnson at 19 million. To get arguably the best corner in football right now, at least a, for sure a top five guy, at the seventh highest paid corner in the league, it's pretty damn good. It's very similar to the Cole Komet deal. Uh, now, Jalen Johnson's closer to the best at his position than Cole Komet is, but you get guys on extensions at you know market value. Typically, you have to go above market value. That's, that's a job well done by Ryan Poles. And look, we can be critical and say he mismanaged the Roquan Smith situation if you want, this and that, but... He holds pretty firm on his price tags, and you know maybe at, over time that'll prove to be a fault. But in, in this case, in Cole Komet's case, that has worked out pretty well, I would say. Now, if Jalen goes goes out there and st stinks up the joint, sure the conversation could shift. But I don't think anyone's going to blame the Bears for this contract the way it's structured. I mean, uh, this guy played at an unbelievable level this year. He started to pick off passes, four interceptions, should have had six, had a couple of pick sixes. That were dropped. If he squeezes those, does that give him uh, up to $21 million? Maybe. Uh, but uh, I don't think Jalen Johnson's going to be losing sleep at night anytime soon because uh, he now has plenty of money. And I think the Bears are going to be sleeping pretty well, too, because uh, they leave themselves at a position where they can go attack uh, free agency now with at least $55, 60000000 million or so in cap space. And now we'll see where they go from here. It's nice to have this done before free agency because you don't have to be wondering in the back of your mind, how much money do I have to play with? What are we going to do with Jalen? Like, it's done. He's under contract. He's here. He's in your plans beyond this year. And now it's about uh, adding more pieces to this roster. What do the Bears do in free agency? Do they take a swing? at Christian Wilkins? Do they go sign a big name running back like Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs? There's been a lot of buzz there. So um, I'm just, I'm fired up about this, man. I mean, I'm, I'm sweating bullets and uh, I'm not feeling great uh, because I've been very sick, but uh, this is, this is good news to discuss and it's worth hopping on the mic for 10 minutes or so and breaking it down for you. I want to ask you guys, Name a player you want the Bears to now sign once free agency gets going. An outside free agent. Who is someone you would like to see the Bears go get? Let us know in the comments below. I really would like to see them take a swing at Christian Wilkins. Now, you could argue that since they've already paid Tremaine Edmonds big money, Montez Sweat, Jalen Johnson, three high-paid defenders that – Obviously, they need to put more resources into the offense, and that's absolutely true. But if you get Christian Wilkins on this defense, you've got a pairing on that defensive line with him and Montez Sweat, two good linebackers in the middle, Tremaine Edmonds and TJ Edwards, Jalen Johnson, plus some good young pieces in that secondary that you're kind of set on defense. So, yeah, you probably need another edge, but maybe you go get that in the draft. Um, you certainly need to replace Eddie Jackson, but – the chatter around this safety market, which, guys, safeties are getting cut left and right. I expect the Bears to find an Eddie Jackson re uh, replacement for a pretty reasonable price tag. Um, you're going to be at a, in a good position. So I would definitely take a swing at Christian Wilkins. If they don't want to do that, um, I, I like this idea of going to get one of these running backs. You know, there's been some Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs buzz. I'm still interested in Derrick Henry. Um, I, I just like the idea if the Bears are going to go – with a rookie quarterback, which, look, the Justin Fields discussion is a whole nother thing, and I'm not going to get into it today, but it sounds like that market not be, may not be very strong, so we'll see what happens there. But assuming they do draft the quarterback, I like the idea of getting a veteran runner that you can lean on and take some pressure off that young quarterback. Um, we'll see. We'll see. It's um, it's fun times, man, and it's, it's fun to think about what things could look like a week from now as – we're three, four days into free agency at that point in time. But uh, this was kind of the first step for me. You, you needed to, to get Jalen Johnson secure, secure. Now, you, you had that a little bit with the franchise tag, but this leaves no doubt. There's no, uh, what if he requests a trade? What if he holds out a training camp? Like, like that's done with. Jalen Johnson can go enjoy his offseason now. The Bears can focus on other matters, what to do with Justin Fields. Who are they going to – are they going to draft Caleb Williams in the near term, free agency next week? Like the Jalen thing, hey, there's your money. 
we're going to go focus on other matters uh, over the next, uh, you know, six weeks with free agency and the draft. So uh, that's why it was so critical to get this done. All right, guys, that's about all I got in me today. Uh, appreciate you indulging me. I think I'll be back in the studio tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. I'm feeling a little bit better. Certainly not 100 percent, but uh, I think I can get, you know, 70, 75 percent tomorrow and uh Get you guys a video tomorrow plus some weekend coverage. So be on the lookout for that. Subscribe. Follow me on socials at HGram NFL. One more note from Courtney Cronin. Let's see if she says anything. Oh, nothing new here. So, all right, we're done. Hit that subscribe button for more videos. Appreciate it. Bear down.